I want to show you how to render a media texture, basically a video using Sequencer and Unreal Engine 4. I had this very frustrating problem where I tried to render a video in my scene and in the final render the video would be playing at uh, 2x speed or in any case, not at the desired speed. So finally, I found a solution using the method presented here. You can render any video using the sequencer and have a total control over the frames. So what I will want to do is to create in this location, screen and to play a countdown video while this girl is training here. We will use this video in our sequence. I created also a folder on the desktop so I will place here my frames. Now, just follow the exact instructions in VC player. You will need VC player in order to create all the frame of the video. What you will do, you will go in VC player, you will go to tools, preferences, you will activate the filter here. Here, okay, you can set up some uh, settings, but this is the name, name of the file that you will use, and here is the location where you will save the files. In order to save them in the desired location, you will go to the folder, double click in this location, copy the address, copy the address here, and that's it. Here, recording rate is the frame that you will be recording. If it's one, it will take every frame. If your video is playing 30 frames per second, it will take every frame and will make a photo of, the, of that frame. Now, you will go again here, filters, and you have to activate this scene video filter. We'll save it, close, and now you have to play the video, the entire video. You will wait. Now you will go back to tools and you will deactivate this filter just in case you will play some other files, movies, not to save again the frames. And here we have the frames, all the frames from the video. And we will use these frames in our uh, sequencer. And just like that. Now we will go back to Arial Engine. And we are back in Arial. Here we want to create a screen. So we will take a plane, very simple, we will scale it. In order to switch from scale to move, just press the spacebar. Okay, we'll rotate it and we have a screen, a projection plane. Okay, we will try to make it the ratio of the video. We place it there and that's, that's quite it. Okay, now. We'll go to media, image media source. We'll take the image media source, rename it as you want. I will put just frames here. Double click, we'll go to the frames, the destination where we save the frames. I think we put them on desktop. Okay, all the frames that we exported from uh, our movie. Yes, it should be on desktop. Yes. So, you select only the first frame and open. You will select the frames per second, okay, 30 in our case, and save. That's it here. So, we have the image source. Now, again, we'll go to media and we will have to add a media player. Okay, again, you can rename it as you want. Double click and already you see here, we have, we have our video. Okay, 
even if we add it as frames here it's playing as video it's 30 frames per second so it's a, it is a video now again you will have to go to media and you will have to create a media texture double click okay rename it as you want actually this and you grab it this and you drop it on the screen where you want to project this the new material will be created and this will be the material that is going to be played on uh, on the screen okay now you will have to go to blueprints open level blueprint it's very simple you don't need to know anything about blueprint just follow exact instruction here i will delete here this is already done but i will create from the beginning now you have other blueprints you don't care about those you just start from the beginning you will create a variable i will rename it media player okay i will uh, the, the type i will search for media player not this one media ah. media player and object reference or object or reference as you will have it in uh, your you will have to compile we have some errors but we don't care for now okay and you will select here your image your media player you will save you will grab it you will get media player you will add an event begin okay you will drag to open the source and you will select the source that's it you will compile you will save and you will go back to Unreal. so let's see now we will have to go to the sequencer i already have my sequencer here in your sequencer you will have to add one more track you see nothing is playing for now you will have to add one more track let's make it bigger we need to add a media track we'll add the media track you see it's already there okay i will just grab it and place it where i want okay you will have to right click on it go to properties and you will have to select the media the image source and with this you will have the total control on the frames as you can see you have frame by frame the video played as you want in here so if you will zoom in you will see you can see fra each frame played when you want it to be played also the render is exactly as it is uh, in the as you can see it here okay so we can start where we want with the with the countdown with the video you can place it where you want in your in your sequencer and when you will render the video the result will be as expected and here you can see the final render